What's up everybody? Back here with another MVP 2007 NCAA gameplay video. This is number 7 in the series. This is Atlantic 10. We're going to be looking at Virginia Commonwealth and Xavier. Let me run through these lineups real quick. So who you'll see here is, and I talk about this in every video, players that were freshmen, sophomores, or juniors on Virginia Commonwealth this year in the 2019 season. Sometimes you'll see a drafted junior. Like I said, Connor Grahams, I got curious because he was a two-way player for Xavier, and I saw that he got drafted in the fifth round. I think it was the Reds that drafted him is what I saw, but... Those juniors will still be in the game for now. Once I get closer to the start of the 2020 season, start to tighten things up, get those guys out, and you see these empty spaces here. We just didn't have enough guys on their roster left that had played to fill those out. So once the season starts, we'll get those filled out. So you see their pitchers here. Don't worry about that. Let me go look at... I'm going to look at the overall roster so you can see the guys' ratings here. So we're starting with the Atlantic 10 and we're just going alphabetically by conference. So every time I finish a conference, I'll do a bunch of gameplay video. But wait, let me hold up, let me go back to the top, let me zoom in a little here for you guys. All right, hopefully you can see it a little bit better. There's actually a little glare on the TV from the way it is on the, the TV or within the game itself, but hopefully with that zoom in, you can read things a little bit. So each team will have like roughly 20 to 25 guys on it. Xavier with what they have coming back, I was doing some simulations. St. Bonaventure was finishing at the bottom, so was Xavier. Alright, so here's all your open guys here. So let me jump out of here real quick. Go into exhibition mode and go ahead and get this game started. All right, you see here VCU overalls rated higher. B plus versus a D for a Xavier. And that plays out in the simulations as I said. Xavier was constant, uh, consistently finishing near the bottom. VCU what are they doing? I think they were finishing near the top most of the time in the conference, so. And again, that's just for now. Things will change once the season starts and you get all the new players in and grad transfers and stuff like that, so. Yeah, so they're going to throw Grams. He's, like I said, he got drafted, so you won't see him when the roster comes out. Looks like VCU has some decent start, starting pitching. Relief, relief pitching, not so much. Xavier, what do they have? Couple relievers, maybe some okay starting pitching. Lineups look a lot better. Let me zoom out, I wasn't even paying attention there, so. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get this started. Now, where do we want to play? Let's see. Where's Xavier? Let's pick one of these, huh? Let's play here. Let's try this game here in Texas. Dish Falk Field. All right, enough of me. Let me turn the volume on here for you guys. Hello, everybody. Today's game is 
between the Rams and the Musketeers. Hi again, everybody, and welcome to you. This is Mike Patrick. It's another great night for baseball. And partner, are you ready for this one? Hey, everybody. The junior is starting tonight. He certainly is, Mike. His pitches consist of a four-seamer, a change-up, a hook, and a tight slider. Here, Paul Witt leading off for us. And we're now underway. Oh. And the batter takes a strike to start this one. Ground ball up wow. the middle. Gets through, and the batter has a single. He's on with a single. You take that. Number 14 is at the hot corner. He'll be batting cleanup. Man on right away. Gonna try to put some runner, put some runs on the board here. Let's see how the home team's defense. Right, so there's their defense. Has a very solid infield. They'll make the plays when they have to. Guys, a team you can really rely on to make the play that's right out. They won't make the great one, but I'll take the guys that'll make it. We got a 97 contact here with Hibbets, 70 power. Breaking ball strike on the inside edge. Rams is looking tough. He's got some good movement on his breaking pitches. One and one. Oh. Uh. Got it with the chain. Number four. Pick off throw to second base. Ah. 
Come on! Jesus, get back there. What are you doing? Fastball just missed. Pitch right there. Ball, four, strike. One and two. Line drive. Oh, and so wow. And that would have busted it wide open right there. Put a three and a first on him. The junior is starting tonight. His pitch is consistent. Connor Gillespie. A change up, a hook, and a slide piece. How the home team's offense will line up. Number 34 is out in left field. He'll be hitting third. Fastball right down the pipe. If you're ahead in the count, you want to keep him off balance. Now would be a good time to jam him with the slump. That ball gets by the catcher. Hit on the line. He's on with a single. The Rams have infielders who end up with a lot of close plays. Number 38 is digging in. Dang. Line drive right side. Run it. Run it. For the out. Yeah. Nice. The first baseman takes it himself and touches the back. The sophomore is up next. Pretty big with a good hitter up. Try to get the strikeout out of the zone. This inning is over. With one inning played, it's three to nothing. And top of the order. Number 
Dad, he knows I want to go too. Come on, baby. I want that B. I want that second. I want that base. Ah. <clears throat> yeah. All of Graham's stuff is hard though, so we'll see. <clears throat> Big lead. Yeah, the there it is. Here comes the runner from third. And a run will come in to score. Nice so two-out hit right there. The runner moves to second. It's four to nothing. Side. 
on the first. Easy flip to first for the out. videos that there's more errors I've noticed in the college game. You know, it's realistic. They're not pros, right? But if they count that as an error, which they probably would, that'd be their fourth already. That's crazy. Swung on and missed. It was a breaking ball away. 
There's a fastball on the knees at the corner. 0 and 2. Number 10 is feeding the batter's crumbs out there. hits today for that generic player. I was just grooving a fastball to him. And he's two for two. He got his bonus. He took a beating today. Breaking pitch right there. Here's the steal. No, he couldn't make it. Bad jump. He checks his swing. That's the thing about here versus MVP. The timing mechanism is a little different. Another what could have been. Yeah, the quick pitch here. Look at the timing thing is just different. Lord, it. Wow. Took one for the team. It's got a, a warning. Dang. Yeah, I would have never thought that guy was throwing at. In the video game, you wouldn't think the guy's throwing at you intentionally. Pick off throw to second. Pick off throw just got back in time. And struck him out. God. It hits five to nothing. All right, here he is, number 37, the legend of open cap. Two for two, can he deliver for a third time? They'll be selling this guy's jersey in, in the concession stand. Doubled him up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Time to, he go! Coach got ran! Coming. There's the old 
Damn, he's bumping the blue. Wow. Why not? You're down. Five zip in the eighth. Things aren't going your way. Why not? That will put an end to the inning. All right, last inning. Let's get one more, one more pitcher in there. Let's take a look at their closer, Watson. Big swing, didn't get it. There's a ground ball towards second base. Throw to first. He's out of there. Number 14 is digging in. Norwood's two for three. Make that three get for four. Come on, get by him, get by him, get by him. Number 14 is on with a base hit. A runner. Let's see what his speed's looking like. 96. A runner at first takes off. Two down, man, at third. Nice. And it will score a run. He's up with it and throws. The freshman is on with a single. And there's... <sighs> He's not going anywhere. No, get down! Oh, nah. <laughs> Breaking Oof. ball swung over the top. There's Come on, get by. Line drive at the second baseman. Ah. The side is retired. All right, one, one more run. Six All right, last the inning. The last AB for them. Let's bring in that closer. Number 38 is digging. Who do we got Number here? Is going to come in as Danny a Watson. It's a good move by the manager here to get somebody else in there. Who oh, just caught the corner. Like how he tries to hype it up, like it was in doubt. 
All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, that's game number. What is that? Game number seven. So we saw VCU and Xavier. Good win here for the VCU team. They got a good squad. So four errors though for Xavier. Let's see. Let's take a look at the. Okay, take a look at the line score. Let's take a look at the box score. I want to see how many of these runs were earned. Yeah, we just came out hot in those first couple innings. In spite of some bad base running. So, 11 hits, 3 walks. About 10. Okay, 10 times. Huh? 3 steals. And so, what, their 8, 9, and 1 hitters had all of their hits. 6 hits. Let's see what we got pitching wise. Okay, so five of the runs were earned. So actually only one unearned. All right, and there we go. So Xavier Musketeers, VCU Rams, game number seven. So that's it for the Atlantic 10. We've got six other Atlantic 10 video gameplays up. Or gameplay videos, I should say. So check those out if you want to see other teams in the Atlantic 10. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.